continuing to field questions here for us Emily. I have a student who from the group chat says he or she wants to sit the step one in a month and took two NBMEs, NBME 24 offline scored 170, took NBME 28 online scored 198. Uh, once again, the aim is, can I sit the exam within a month? And if we, ha if we average 170 and 198, that would be 184. So we need a 194 to pass. I generally will not recommend students sit, if at all possible, unless they're able to break 200 with their NBMEs. We don't really want you to sit I'm just prefacing here by articulating that we don't want you to sit the USMLE if you're going to be very borderline where you've got an NBME at 196, another one at 194, etc. So for starters, I would like to see some NBMEs, at least a couple NBMEs above 200. You want to sit within a month. Now, what we're going to do to increase your score as much as possible, it's, it's never cookie cutter. I will normally have extended Skype sessions with students discussing tailor-made timelines, but as a general umbrella type of discussion is that you, of course, will be memorizing NBMEs 20 through 30 prior to your step one. That's mandatory prep, okay? If a student is scoring lower than he or she wants, I'll say, well, how, how much of the NBME content have you gone through? Not much at all. Okay, well, that makes sense. You need to be going through the NBME content. So if you're a month out, uh, UWorld is going to be taking a back burner at this stage. There might be the possibility of looking at certain components of it, depending on your history. However, the final month needs to be 20 through 30, okay? So you're going to do 20 through 24. You're going to screenshot your incorrects from those forms into a Word document, save as a PDF slash PowerPoint, Make one master file, okay? So NBME 20, all your incorrects. NBME 21, all your incorrects. You're also gonna do that for free 120, okay? You're gonna add that to that PDF. You're gonna be going through my free high yield PDFs on my website, okay? Especially high yield arrows. Very fucking important PDF. I'm gonna link that in the description below. Actually, I'll just pin it as a comment, okay? Below, I think it'll be more, more visible that way. So I want you going through my PDFs. I want you going through NBMEs 20 through 24 as well as free 120. Then we're going to have you revisit 25 through 30, okay? You already did 28. I know you did 24, but uh, I want you reviewing 20 through 24 solidly with free 120. Then 25 through 30 solidly, including 28 as though you never did it, okay? And we're going to see how your scores have gone up. Life's a bad alternatives. Uh, students will... Uh, contemplate using various resources. Should I be looking at BNB, FA, Sketchy? I mean, what should I be doing? Anything can help, okay? It's a Venn diagram. But when we talk about maximal kinetic score augmentation, okay, you've got very little time. You want the greatest increase in your score possible. The greatest shot you've got is going through the NBME content, okay? So that's what you're going to do. NBME's 20 through 30, including free 120. You're going to be memorizing that material in your final month. And we'll see how those latter NBMEs go. You know the deal. I'm going to continue making more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel. And I appreciate your time. That's it.